Police have hit another new low. They've decided to go after the business owners that have stayed open during the protests and have fed the truckers and given them coffee and, you know, just treated them with respect. They are now going after all of the businesses that stayed open. And if you don't believe me, there is video proof that uh, quite a few, even like half a dozen officers, at least at the front of this store, because apparently there's also some at the back, are trying to get into the iconic cafe and trying to arrest people or at the at the least shut them down and that i thought was what they were trying to fight against at least that's what i always heard is well they're shutting down businesses they're ruining people's lives doesn't seem to be the case here but why don't we take a look and see why don't we take a a little gander at what actually happened at iconic cafe straight from somebody who was inside of it at the time Again, no officer has any name or badge number even remotely visible. As you can see, they've now closed the shop. They're saying that they're going to break it. That lady there, who removed her mask, is going at him with the most aggression I've ever seen but couldn't hear. Body language alone just shows that she comes from a position of authority and that she's going to use her power in any way that she can. It's just simple body language here. Look at the aggression. Look at how she is. Open. I don't care is what she just said. Okay, share this out, you guys. Get it out everywhere. Now, get it out. They're saying they're gonna break the window. Even if they broke the window, it's just more they things that they'll have to pay for at the very end of all this. People always said to fund the police. I guess the easiest way is for them to pay for their own crimes. Here's your tax. Good luck service. having any funding after this. Here's your taxes. I play everyone. Welcome Going after the small businesses they wanted journey. to save from the freedom truckers, right? Ones that had more profits than they've ever had in their entire lives. Well, maybe not in their entire lives, but at least during COVID. I'd like to know who that lady is. I don't trust you. You just... This is a business owner that people do not talk about. An actual one, not some of the other ones that decided to close down. He is the one that is now st helping the people fight the good fight, and now he doesn't trust the police, even though they're supposed to be there to help him stay open, right? Oh, another masked Tommy man. because he's wearing a mask. Keep sharing this out. Yep. Another police officer trying to tell him to open the door because they have no legal foot to stand on in order to break that window. So that's why he's testing him that way. It's really interesting to see, isn't it? Well, there's uh, something going on a little bit further down the block from this situation, so why don't we take a look at that too and tell me that this doesn't seem odd. I just want to get a coffee, okay? Why is the camera coffee? in my face right now? What's Are you here partaking? You no identifiers right yet again. Zone? Just I'm a number. Scared. I want to go for a coffee down there. Okay. Can I, can I go? He has an identifier. Do you live in this? You're no, not, not excluded here, from that. I, I'm Where do you live? Alberta. Time for you to leave. I can't even go down there for no, a coffee. No, go grab yourself a red zone right now. If you don't leave right now, you will be arrested. Do you understand me? I can't That's go for a coffee. Oh, remember those names. You saw those badges. We see you again. It'll be different. Oh, that's assault yet again. Let me tell you, sir. Take your camera and get out of here. Do you understand that? I'm walking away. Walk away. Your phone doesn't need to be in our face when you're walking away. Go. Are you going to walk or are you going to get arrested? I was walking away. Get out of here. Somebody's earning his red arm band. Oh my goodness. Hope you can go to sleep at night. Somebody is slowly getting his brown coat on and getting ready to 
put on that little red armband that Justin Trudeau is going to be handing out to everyone who's vaccinated. At least that's my theory now. It's going to be like the Yellow Star program all over again. But this is the sadness. This is the madness that we live in. Where even just somebody walking down the street gets harassed and technically assaulted by police. Just because they're from somewhere else? Just because they want to go get a coffee? Aw, are the police scared? No, they're power hungry. And they're using that power to install fear in people. To instill it. To make it so that you have to be afraid every single time you see them. That's not something you should, be, you should want. That's not something you should need. You should never feel afraid of the police. The police are supposed to be there to protect you. Not a regime done by a dictator in disguise. It's really sad. It's really, really sad to see. And I hope the world is watching, and I hope Trudeau knows that his career is over. There is no coming back from this. He will forever be Canada's Hitler. And that's exactly what he's going for. Just a matter of time now. Anyways, guys, love you all. See you next time. Bye-bye.